Welcome to Tunacheki and a special welcome to our ancient history show, a show where we look at the great men and women who paved the way before us. Before we continue, please take the time to subscribe and hit the notification bell. In today's video, we look at the story of a formerly enslaved African who became one of the greatest rulers in India. We look at the life of Manik Amma. Manik Amma was a powerful Ethiopian-born military leader who rose to prominence in India during the 17th century. His life began in 1548 as Chapu, a young Ethiopian boy from the region of Harar. Though little is known about his childhood, it is assumed that he was a carefree boy who loved to scale the rugged dry hills of his home, a skill that would later help him in life. His journey to India was a crazy experience, as at first he was sold by his parents as a slave, which was sometimes the case during times of hardship. He first traveled to Yemen and then was sold again to a slave market in Baghdad and again sold several times until he eventually was sold to the powerful Nizam Shah of the Ahmad Nagat Sultanate located in present-day India. Along the way, he converted to Islam and changed his name to Manik Amba. When the newly Christian Manik Amba arrived in India, he caught the eye of Shingiz Khan, the Prime Minister of the Deccan state of Ahmed Naga, who bought him. Crazy enough, Shingiz Khan was not an Indian. In fact, he was an Ethiopian, just like Amba. When Shingiz died in the 1580s, Amba was finally his own man, a free man at that. He managed to gather other Africans as well as Arabs to form an elite mercenary group. Amba left Ahmed Naga with his men and for a while, he worked for hire all over the Deccan. He later served as the regent of the Nizmashahi dynasty of Ahmed Naga from 1600 to 1626. He raised a cavalry which grew from 150 men to 7,000 men in a short period of time. One of Manik Amba's most famous victories was the Battle of Rohapned which took place in 1621. He was leading a force of around 20,000 troops against the Nugan army, which was led by the governor of Gujarat. Despite being outnumbered, Malik Amba was able to use his superior knowledge of the terrain to his advantage. He ordered his troops to create a false camp, which made the Mughal army believe that they were attacking the main camp. In reality, Malik Amba had stationed his troops at the high ground where they were able to launch a surprise attack on the Mughal armies from above. The Mughal army was caught off guard and suffered heavy losses while Malik Amba's army emerged victorious. The Battle of Rock and Head is considered one of the greatest military victories in Indian history and Malik Amba is remembered as one of the greatest military leaders of his time. Malik Amba was also a patron of the arts and literature. He invited several poets, writers, and artists to his courts and supported all their work. He was especially fond of Persian literature and commissioned several translations of Persian books into local languages. Malik Amba was also a shrewd diplomat and managed to maintain good relations with the Mughal Empire, which is the most powerful empire in India at the time was able to negotiate a favorable treaty with the Mughals that allowed his kingdom to retain its independence and autonomy. He built a new capital right at the Mughal border, which is also known as the City of Gates today. Within just a decade, the city grew into a bustling metropolis. Manik Amba's legacy lives on to this day. He's remembered as a wise and just ruler, who was able to rise above his humble beginnings and create a powerful and prosperous kingdom. He remains an inspiration to many people in India and all over the world, who admire his determination, leadership, and vision. He died in 1626 at the age of 77. Thank you for watching today's video. 
Let us know your thoughts about this brilliant hero in the comments below. If you haven't watched our other videos which celebrate our Mama Africa, be sure to do so. We have the Mysteries of Africa series and the Amazing Places of Africa series. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell so you can be alerted every time we post a video. It's been me, Linda from Tuna Travel. Be sure to check out my YouTube channel. Until the next video, stay safe and remember, Africa is watching.